knowing about the wild, the wild manifest and venturing four years in my life around. I am so sorry, but our Miracle Diwali is sold out. Thousands has been sold. And I keep getting all these messages about, Sal, how do I get one? You can't get it anymore. I created something special. Now, our Miracle Abundance Diwali kit, you have all these items for free when you get your Miracle Diwali bracelet as well. It is an abundance kit for people's manifesting love and money. And this could be at your doorstep in just two to three days. Free shipping in the US and we ship to more than 90 countries across the globe visit my website freedom for you is very important <laughs> especially when you want things to go you know for you um get it done let's go let's go <laughs> this is what i'm feeling for you especially your card here is ace of wands right so you have this nature within you where when i want to do things i want to do things Okay? And I'm unstoppable. Big, bright ideas. Put it to work. If it's a relationship, let's go. If it is, it is. If it's not, it's not. Okay. Well, well, well. Okay. So let's see. Okay. Welcome, Capricorn. <laughs> to your read. We're going to do your tarot. And of course, I have your astrology. I do say DRL, Vedic. Okay. Jyotish astrology. Um, for people who's uh, wondering, sold out. Can't get it anymore. It is an icon as of this moment, the first one that I created. So as an homage, I created right away because people be asking, Sa, I need to manifest because the most auspicious time to manifest is upcoming. It's mere the Diwali, the victory of light over darkness at the end of October. So I'll talk more about this in a little while, okay? Because this is a free kit, okay? You get a love and money oil. No, for the lamp, okay? Uh, and then, of course, you know, all the crystals that... Um, that has helped me in my journey as a you know as a person who uses different kinds of tools and divination and occult for manifesting. So I put it here. Um, so I'll tag that there. But um, so don't wait last minute. Uh, but I'll talk more in a little while. And for manifestation masters, I've already probably released this magical um, you know charm for the 2025. Uh, we're very much ahead there for manifestation because that's where I teach. This one attracted a car, luxury, two cars in two months. But in the same month is when I got it, actually. Okay, I like to make things complicated. Two months or one month? Well, I I started using it two months. But it's in the second month that I got two. And then, I do I need it? No, it was gifted to me. It was just given to me. I was like, I know. Okay. So, that's, so that's how strong this charm is. But it's actually Emperor's coin. Uh, and of course, for protection. Uh, mm. So, anywho, let's begin your read, Capricorn. Freedom is... Oh, and there's also an extended reading to this. Because people be... Okay. Um, be asking for their extended to dive deeper. Strength card with the Nine of Cups. Resisting the temptation to be with this person. So, you're just distancing. It's like, listen. Okay. I don't want... Okay. Mm. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. I go your side first, and then we go their side. Oh. So a lot of pressure I feel here, um, as far as mentally, about the relationship. So this relationship is your Achilles. Okay. This relationship puts you in a place where you don't want to go. Where is that? Inside your head. So for the Capricorn, this is more of like a, a liability at this point. It plays with your mind, you know. It's never secure, a lot of questions, uncertain. And you find yourself every day wondering, questioning about the connection. Okay, It's not obsessive. I don't think so. It's more of like, am I wasting my time? Why am I with this person? I can't breathe. I just want to be out. Because the nine, of course, will go to a ten of swords. Of course, you understand that Mars, at this point in time, when they upload this in October, um, it's uh, going to be in Cancer. And Mars is in Cancer where uh, it can be, you know, Mars is exalted in your sign, okay, which is wonderful, but it's debilitated in, your, in Cancer. It weakens. And then to add insult to injury, what I mean by that is Mars is a maraca in the seventh house. So each planet has a best house, okay? So think of it. 
um, you probably have a store that you like. I don't know. You know, let, let's just say you're shopping. You like shoes. I don't know what kind of brand of shoes you like. Uh, or you like bag. Then there's a specific, uh, you know, like, let's just say luxury. Okay? I'm not saying that you like, but you like to go to Chanel. Then you're, you know, that's your house. Okay. Think of it like a house of fashion. You like to go to, you know, other bags. Okay. Um, Bottega. Okay. Then that's your house. So Mars, okay, Mars likes to be in your sign, okay, but it doesn't want to be in the seven. So you're the Bottega, you're the Chanel, you're, um, you know, Chloe, you're the Louis V, right? Um, you know, for Mars, it thrives there. Now, when Mars is in the seventh, okay, so think of it this way, opposite of the store that you would want to go to. JC Penny. <laughs> I get I was just there. Okay. So Mars enters JC Penny. Okay. No Tino shade. Okay. I think they just need a little bit update with their overhead lighting. It's a little harsh. It gives you really raccoon eyes. Oh, I'm just okay. So no Tino shade. I love Marshalls. I love TJ Maxx more than JC Penny. Facts. Okay. Um, home goods, I mean, for, but I don't know why JCPenney hasn't done anything in their store. <laughs> so now you understand how it weakens. So Mars in the seventh house, JCPenney. You see, astrology for me is very easy. Now you understand. And Mars is a go, go, go action. When you go to JCPenney, you don't feel like shopping. When I go to TJ Maxx, okay, I know where to go. Go at the back. There's a clearance rack out there, okay, and then you go <laughs> Nordstrom rack, woo woo, okay, you see, so Mars in Cancer in seventh house, JC Penny, okay, and that's how you feel right now. You know, this is the feeling of like I don't have the energy to keep up with this. I don't have the patience to deal with this. It's like this is not my tea. Knowing about the the Wally manifest I'm adventuring four years my life around. I am so sorry, but our miracle Diwali is sold out. Thousands has been sold, and I keep getting all these messages about Sal. How do I get one? You can't get it anymore. I created something special now. Our Miracle Abundance Diwali kit. You have all these items for free when you get your Miracle Diwali bracelet as well. It is an abundance kit for people's manifesting love and money, and this could be at your doorstep in just two to three days. Free shipping in the U.S. and we ship to more than ninety countries across the globe. Visit my website. If you got one. Then, with the star card, okay, your person is opposite. Hopeful, clueless, it's like, I don't know what you're talking about. It's like, why are you overstressing right now? Why are you overthinking the situation? Everything is fine between us. They don't see what you see. Okay. Their action, okay, is actually non-committal. Okay, so they're fine. They get the benefits, they get the perks of this relationship, mm -hmm. but you don't. So they get the goods, okay, the goodies, okay, Sierra, I think it's Sierra. <laughs> so they get the goods, but you don't. So it's one-sided, okay? Because they got all, oh, I'm happy, we're good, right? Uh, really? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, Wheel of Fortune, we love, okay. So the Capricorn Nine of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune, you feel destined with this person, okay? Let me see what else. Okay. Now, I'm seeing that you're, uh, you're not that you're struggling, you're thinking about like, okay, what do I do then? Okay? Like, you want to take charge in this relationship. <laughs> Sorry if I, my, run, my nose is running. Because the Wheel of Fortune is here. Not taking charge like a Wheel of Fortune. It's more of like, you see the potential when Jupiter is in the fifth house for you. Which only means like this is, uh, you know, it's like you want to have more of the relationship. And that's why sometimes even the benefic planet can become a little bit challenging for us because Jupiter expands, right? So where it is in the fifth house is happiness. As I said before, you're happy that you are dating someone. Next time, you're not happy just dating. You're happy if you guys are official, right? The next time, you're happier if it's official and then now engage and then engage then married married the desire right so what happens here in jupiter in the fifth it loves to have kids okay so jupiter in the fifth is a karaka so here this is jupiter in the fifth um it's um 
It's not it's it's not Chanel. Uh, it's giving Yves Saint Laurent. Okay, it's okay. It's happy, you know. But Jupiter, we want in the first house. First house for Jupiter, Hermes. Hermes. Okay, you understand me? So you, now you kind of know. I don't know luxury brand <laughs> like that. So in the fifth house is Yves Saint Laurent. It's okay. It's it is it wonderful. It's good. It's happy, but it wants more. You know. So the Wheel of Fortune here, Nine of Swords, the Capricorn say, I want more, you know. And that's why your person probably is cool with it right now because, like, you know, we've been dating for like five months. It's like, yeah, but, you know, are we official? It's the desire. The next level. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the clock is ticking because Mars is in the seventh. Well, with the strength card, it's giving your person here resisting that part, okay? Strength, of course, is a Leo. You got Jupiter, you got uh, Sag, you get Aqua here. So, for them, it's like, I'm putting my best foot forward here, okay? The strength is not argumentative. It's courageous. It's bold. Your person is showing up every time. But for you, it's like, yeah, they're showing up. Haven't met their friends. Haven't met their family. Haven't met no one. I don't even know if we were date if we're really dating. You understand me here? But they're good. I, I have no question with their intention. But you question their intention, <laughs> not me. Okay, not me, Capricorn. It's just it's just a thing where you're feeling right now. It's like I want, I want a full on committed relationship. No problem with that. Now, if this is something that you're manifesting, remember that Diwali is coming, right? Okay, so that's victory of light over darkness. Because you are here, the Nine of Swords. There's a lot of stressful things that you're going through. And this is what I created. This is not an anti-stress, okay? But this is for manifestation. A lot of money also there. Love, of course, protection. And it comes with a whole kit. Now, this one is very special because the kit comes with a wooden arm box right here. Okay, ASMR. Okay, so... Um, it comes with a love and money oil for the lamp, which you will light and meditate right here. And then, these are free. Okay, you, now you get your charging selenite dish. So, you know how you will, um, you know, put your intention, recharge, cleanse your talisman and amulets. Okay, so I create, and of course, smudge. Free shipping in the U.S. We ship to more than 90 countries across the globe. And if it's available... You'll see a stock right there, but like the other one, out of stock already sold out. So hopefully, you still get one, okay? So, and because the Diwali is at the end of this month. So the most auspicious time for us to manifest victory, okay? Okay, so coming back to your read here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, you are wondering... A wandering soul, two of ones. Okay. Ooh. So this is the problem. This is the problem. When we want something and then we don't agree. The person is upset. Five cups. Because mm. uh, for them, it, this is ruining uh, the mode. Okay. They feel the star with the wheel of fortune that, you know, um, you know, like you guys are destined. You believe in that. Faith and destiny bring brought the two of you together. Wonderful. Amazing with that one. But then, two of ones, you started to have questions. You started to have plans, you know. And that's why relationship, right? They say it's like, oh, you know, not all, you know, all marriages goes up and down and have all these issues. Because our desire is nonstop. Imagine if from day one that you met this person and vice versa, how much you love each other and just stay there. No, I love you. That's it. There's no like, well, you know, it's like, I really, you know, uh, I really love you. You know, you think we're going to get married? You think this and that? So, but if it was stayed there with no intention of like more desire, it would have been fine. But of course, you know, we grow, right? And that's what you want now. You want the relationship to flourish. You don't want where it is. Anywhere near where it is right now, you don't want it. Okay. Because it could be like, oh, we've been dating for five years. It's, you know, it's like, is this person ever going to put a ring on it, right? You know. But my question, I don't know. For me, marriage is important, of course, 100%. Especially if you're having kids, right? It needs to be blessed because kids are a blessing. Especially if it's not my kid. <laughs> so, but your person does not see eye to eye with you on that one. Mm -mm. It is cold. Mm. Ooh. Will they commit? Will they change your mind? Are they going to step up? 
this person that you feel like you are destined to be with, link in the description box below for the extended, let me reveal to you everything.